Hi, I'm Nyani. I'm going to answer a few of your most asked questions. Is Nyani your real name? If yes, what does it mean? Also, what inspires you to do makeup? Yes, Nyani is my real name. My full name is Nyani Labadra and it's a name from Lesotho. And in my country, my name means small and I'm pretty small, so... What inspired you to do makeup? I mean, I would say makeup is like a part of me and my life. I do my makeup anyways, I just thought I may as well record it, I may as well take pictures with my makeup and wigs and stuff. I just love pretty things, so it's just part of me really. Were you born in the UK or Lesotho? So I was born in the UK and then me and my family, my parents and my sisters and my brother. Oh, my brother wasn't born yet, so me and my sisters moved with my parents <laughs> to Lesotho when I was about three or four. When I was nine, we moved to Wales. When I was 16 or 15, we moved to Southampton in the UK. <laughs> I moved to Germany, to Berlin, and then I moved to the Netherlands. So guess where I live now, basically. Just guess where I live in this moment. What is your ethnicity? You look great and have all the amazing features. Well, that's nice. Thank you. All my features are all black. Black excellence. <laughs> my ethnicity is just African. I'm African, yeah. From Lesotho. Just an African girl living her African life around the world. <laughs> Can we turn the heating off? I'm starting to heat up now because these questions are, are really tough, you know. <laughs> Where you're from. Yeah. So the next question is, you have a twin. Um, yes, I have a twin sister. Her name is Mpo. She lives in London. And yeah, she's an influencer too. So here's her Instagram. Is your character more like your father or your mother? I personally think my character is a lot like my mom's. I wouldn't say my dad. I'm completely different to my dad. My dad's a bit scary. I don't think I'm scary. My dad's very strict. Even though I don't have any kids, I wouldn't be strict, I don't think. I would say I'm like my mom. My mom's really fun. She's very loud. She talks a lot. I think I talk a lot sometimes. Yeah, sometimes I talk a lot. Uh, very forgiving. I think I'm very forgiving. Sometimes too forgiving because people need to remember that you can't don't do things. But then I forget they did things. I forgive them. People do really annoying things and people like, do me well and I forgive them. And they always get my credit and I get like, I shouldn't forgive people like crazy things. Definitely more like my mom. My mom's a really fun, cool, friendly, cute person. She doesn't listen. I listen. I definitely listen. But. That's not the point. What's your favorite color and why? Mine's blue, it reminds me of the water in the sky. My favorite color is ding, ding, ding. Lilac, I love lilac and I love pink. I don't know why, I just love cute, pretty colors. And these are my two favorite. They remind me of me. <laughs> your go-to hairstyles. My go-to hairstyles. Oh, my go-to hairstyle would be this here. I wear that style every single beginning of every single video. So it's my go-to because it's really easy and it's just kind of thick back. So I'll style my wigs like that a lot. That's my go-to hairstyle. Do I have a boyfriend? Yes, I have a boyfriend. His name is Phil. We've been together for nine years, almost 10 years. It's a long time. How did I meet my boyfriend? I met my boyfriend when I was living in Southampton. He was on Tinder as well. So he was on Tinder and then I went on Tinder and then we talked for like one minute and then I didn't talk to him again because he said he lived in Cologne and I was very young so I didn't know where Cologne was. And then my friend kind of set us up on like a blind date and yeah, that's how we met. On a blind date at Turtle Bay in the UK. How long does it take for me to get ready? I would say it takes me about two hours. A full proper look would take about two hours. Just getting ready and I want to look really good like this, this. This, <laughs> this <laughs> would be two hours. Actually, it can be less than two hours. If my wig is pre-styled and if I've prepared all my makeup, then it can take an hour and a half. Someone's asking, where do I get the makeup game idea? The first idea was a dress up for clothes. And then I just thought it could be even cooler if I do a makeup edition of that. So I did a makeup one. That's how the idea came up because I, I didn't come up with it. It was a game and then I turned it into like a, a video format. Pretty cool, yeah. How long do you dress me up makeup videos take to make? Is one easier or more preferable for you? The dress me ups, they're not easier, but they're quicker because I have to change my clothes a lot of times and it's cold, our studio is freezing and I have to do that. No shoes on, never walk around with no shoes on. I always have socks or shoes on and it takes about an hour. And then the makeup ones take about six hours. <laughs> I wouldn't say I preferred the dress me ups more than the makeup ones because usually I'm cold and I hate it. I can't eat in between the dress me ups because I get bloated and stuff and half the time the outfits go from not fitting to fitting because half of my clothes are too tight. 
So it's a bit more effort. I really like the makeup ones because I get to sit there and just munch. I can eat, have a cup of tea, just like, I can do whatever. I can literally watch TV while filming my makeup videos. I watch Ugly Betty and stuff. It's cool. The Real Housewives. I like the makeup ones more, but I love the dress me up ones too, so it's hard. Hmm. <laughs> How long does it take for you to record a reel for us? One dress me up video would be one hour. The makeup ones are different. Anything from three to six hours. How long does it usually take to edit and post one of your videos? They're amazing, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> um, so my boyfriend edits my videos for me and it can take him from three hours to three days, depending how he feels. Three to six hours, I'd say, if he's really serious. Or if he's just like not really that serious, it can take him like a week, yeah. If the video is really complicated, like I did this YSL video, I had to kind of have like a perfume in my hand. I usually shoot all my content on my own and he edits in the meantime, but he had to be here to shoot this one with me. So that would have taken longer to shoot and taken longer to edit because it was a lot going on. There was a lot of things happening. So that would definitely take maybe even over six hours to edit. So the editing takes that long and to post the video would be, I would say 30 minutes because I've got to come up with a caption and tag the products. I don't know if anyone's noticed, if I don't tag the products, I'm literally like so busy. I have no time to look at what I was wearing. So it's just like, yeah, time for hair ad. And then that's it. How do you edit your videos yourself or does a team help? No, I don't edit my videos myself. I'm too stupid. <laughs> No, I don't edit my videos myself. Uh, my boyfriend does. We don't have a team at our studio, but we have a team like around. We have like my manager. We have a bunch of people at the studio. It's just me and my boyfriend. So I'd film things on my own and my boyfriend would be editing at the same time. Do you do your videos with pro sound in the studio? How did you get started? That's like two separate questions. Yeah, so I'll record my videos. We're not concerned about the sound sounding good. It's just to know what I said while I was recording. After the video is edited, we will record the sound in my boyfriend's music studio and I will do all the sounds again. So it sounds more professional and more like ASMR. We are recording the sound here and there. How do you manage to stay consistent? <laughs> I don't. Like, I struggle being consistent. I do not. But to people, I guess it seems I'm, it seems like I'm consistent. I'm not at all, like, at all. Yeah, I don't. I can't answer that question because I'm not consistent at all. <laughs> I can't lie. Like, I work really hard one day and then the next day I'm tired. So then I can't stay consistent because I'm extremely tired. Today is actually the first day I came to the studio and, and was super tired, but I was like, I'm still going to do something, you know? It's not the first day I do it all the time. I guess that's how I stay consistent. I sold you through the tiredness. We'll sleep when we're dead, right? It's just, we're all gonna die at some point. Oh my God, this is getting morbid. Don't be in your head too much. Try your best. Would I say I tried my best? No, but I'm trying. I'm trying to try my best. I am trying my best, I am. I'm trying my best with everything I do. Waking up in the morning, I can't be asked, but I do it. Doing my exercise, I literally can't be asked, but I do it. Every single thing I do that I didn't wanna do, I'm so proud of myself that I did it. I spend all weekend sitting here, freezing and recording videos. Can't be asked, but people love it. Then I'm happy. <laughs> then I'm like, okay, I can be asked. <laughs> My friend, she asked me, how do you stay motivated? I stay motivated by rewarding myself. I love food. I think about what food I want to eat. What will I get if I do this? Sushi or pasta or something. And then I, I work really hard and then eat this incredible food and then I'm happy. That, that keeps me motivated. And then also my mom saying she's proud of me helps. Yay, I'm happy, I'm proud of you. And I'm like, okay, cool. My mom's happy, let me keep going. And also, oh, this is a good one. I think people can relate to this one. <laughs> What's that? Oh, funny, actually it's quite serious. <laughs> if I get sad and depressed. Remembering that feeling scares me that I don't want to get to that again. So I keep pushing myself because I really, really don't want to get to a stage where I was sad and depressed again. I think a lot of people go through this where they find it hard even to wake up in the morning as effort, you know. Think about how you felt at that time. You don't want to go back to that. So make sure you stay away from it and keep doing things you love. Every single night when I go to sleep, I think about how hard but really good my day was. And I'm just so happy and I'm thankful that I wasn't in a sad and horrible position. And it's all because I decided that. Happiness, I guess. I just don't want to be sad in it. Any favorite cartoons you've watched that you still remember or watch? Yeah, actually every night before I go to bed, I watch Courage the Cowardly Dog. I love that. It's harmless and funny. I used to watch Phineas and Ferb. I don't watch it anymore, but I like it. I love Rainbow High. Rainbow High is awesome. It's just a vibe, you know, all the hair colors and the makeup 
Yeah, I love Rainbow High. Do you think that AI will take over makeup artists' jobs? Like imagine a robot that does seamless makeup. No, I don't think so because they will mess it up. There's just too much creativity that goes into makeup that I don't think a robot will be able to duplicate like a human does. I don't think so. Like, I think that will take like a hundred years. Just makeup is just endless, you know, it's endless. So how, how are they going to do that? Like a person will, will come up and do something new and then the robot will have to copy it. It's going to take a, a, a while for the robot to copy it, I think. Do you know that you have Korean fans? Well, that's awesome. I love, I love Korean people. People think I'm crazy or, or my boyfriend thinks like, well, why are you so obsessed? But I just love like, like Blackpink and that, you know, it's just, it's amazing. The creativity and they're just stunning. All the girls are so cute and stunning. And all of them look like they never go over the age of 30, but they look amazing. If I was going to be anything, I'd be Korean. Well, that's awesome. I have Korean fans. Yes. Would you ever do a video where this, this was such a good idea. That is such a good idea. Would you ever do a video where the, hey. This is such a good idea. This is such a good idea. I'm not going to say it because I'm going to do it. Someone says, do girls fart? I don't know, actually. Do you reckon they do? Yeah. Yeah, girls fart. I don't fart, but I know a bunch of girls who fart. I'm not going to lie, I fart. <laughs> I mean, this is such a cringy question. People get really funny about farts. I'm like, it's just a fart. Like fart and move on. A fart in the wind, gone. Yeah, it goes fart. Any lip gloss recommendations, please? I've needed a good one for a long time. It's a really old lipstick from Fenty, but it's still my favorite. I wear it like almost all the time. Quick top up. Super juicy. I would definitely recommend Morphe Drip Glass. It's nuts. It's one of my favorites ever. Anastasia Beverly Hills. They have some really nuts glosses as well. What do you value most in life? I definitely value my family, friends, relationships. I, I find that really important. My time is valuable, I guess, ish. Yeah. You can waste my time, but 10 times, uh, it's, it's deep then. Don't waste my time 10 times. Like seven times, let's say seven times, 10 times is pushing it. This is the fifth. And last time, <laughs> you better not do that sh again. Okay. I value my wigs, my shoes, and my sanity. Like my mental health matters. I will not put myself in a situation where I know I'm gonna be irritated. When people do things and then they complain, but you put yourself there, you know? If I have to go on my own and I know it's gonna be an annoying situation, I just won't go unless I can bring someone with me. Yeah, a plus one. It's like going to a fight and going alone without backup. Who does that, you know? Like, I need backup. <laughs> what was the question again? I do value my shoes, my bags and my hair too, and backup. Back up. But my shoes too. Look at these, they're so cute. What's the value? I value these a lot because they cost a lot of money, so they're valuable. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> We're not saying that. Do you take time to look at your DMs? It would be nice to get a high back from you. I definitely take time to look at my DMs. I just check them certain days because there's a lot of drama, you know? People like to argue and stuff. You know, when you open something, you just don't know what to expect. There's a lot of lovely stuff, but then there's some annoying things. This person's copying you. That person did that. And after a while, I get so much anxiety that I'm like, I don't want to look at my DMs. I don't want to be fighting people, you know? So I talked to like a few people like, so this is Taonga Nanyangwe. Hi. <laughs> I hope you guys liked this. I think it was, it was fun for me because I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> Getting to know each other is nice, you know? It's nice to get to know the personality behind the videos you've been watching, I would assume. Yeah, I love watching other people's videos of them talking, having a chat about something, joking about something, laughing about something. So yeah, if you guys have any other questions or content recommendations, what you want me to do, I've got a couple of video styles I want to try. So just comment below. <laughs> it was nice having a chat with you guys. Maybe next time over a glass of wine. Oh! What's that? Oh, I can't, what? <laughs> let me just grab that real quick. <laughs> oh, that way, oh, I didn't get it. <laughs> oh, it's right here, my, my tea is right here. Oh my God. <laughs> Ooh. I need to go, bye.